Once we've got some coding done with NVivo 10, we may want to make a code book. And by code book, I mean a listing of the names of all the categories and the descriptions um, that we're using in our operational description for what to code into those categories. So before we decide to make the code book, we, we better check our categories to make sure that we've remembered to, to type in a description for each one. So the way to do that is to highlight the category in the nodes section and to, to right click and you'll see at the bottom of this box here it says node properties we click on that and then we get the description box and of course we see that this is read with CD and yes it does have a description read book along with a CD so that one's fine I think the last one I put in was tactile picture I better check that one um, node properties Ah, and it, it, it actually has one too. Use 3D objects to create braille images like the Black Book of Colors, so it seems to be fine. Let's look at one more just to make sure. So I'm, I'm right clicking, I'm coming down to Node Properties, and it also has a description. So I think I'm probably going to be okay with that. So now I'm ready to make the code book, and the way to do that is to create a report. Um, you need to be at the Explore tab at the top here. And to the far left, you see it says New Report. And we're going to run this report uh, via the Report Wizard. There are other sorts of coding reports that are sort of built into NVivo 10, but they really don't provide this exact set of information that, that I usually use when I'm coding. And this is what I would give to, to a team member if we were coding together so we could compare our codes. So I'm going to run it via the report wizard. It says from a view, and we want to choose from that drop-down menu node and click the next button. Um, now we have to decide which fields we want on our report. And so as I said, what I really want is the name of the node, the description, maybe the hierarchical name, name so I know how it's nested um, in the hierarchy of codes that I've been creating. And then I like to know how many sources are coded there. So that's just the minimal information, but you can decide what to include for yourself. But you, you click the ones that you want to include, and so I'm going to click Name and Description. By holding the Shift key, I can, I can click two at a time, and click the right arrow to put it into the Selected Fields box. Now I also need to, to scroll down and find the hierarchical name, and that's the name that shows how it's hierarchically related to other nodes. I want to add that. And I think I want the number of sources coded, so I'm going to add that as well. So I want those four things. And you could click any other things that, you, that you'd like to see on that report. And then I'm clicking Next. Um, it asks if you want to filter the fields in your report, and in this case we do not, so we're going to click Next. It asks if we want to add any grouping levels. In this case, no, we don't, so we click Next. Now we get a chance to, to order the um, items in our report. And so in the first space, I'm going to actually put the node hierarchical name. That's going to be followed by the node name. Next, I want the description. And then finally, the number of sources coded. And I click the Next button once I have that set up. Now we get a chance to, to uh, make some decisions about how this is going to be laid out. And actually, I like some of the basic layouts here. So I'm just going to leave it. The layout is going to be tabular. The orientation is going to be portrait. That's what style I would like. I'm just going to use the classic style. I like that very much. Next. I need to give my report a name, so I'm going to call it DWR. Oops, put that in the description, didn't I? I'm going to call it DWR code book. And I think I'm going to give it a date, um, October 10th, just so that I can tell it apart from other code books that I might run later. And I'm going to tell it finish. Now you'll see the code book right here. And it's created it for us. And you can see here's the, here's the name of, of the codes. Here's a description. Ah, here's one that's missing one. Enjoy books. I'm going to have to go back in and put that in. And then and here's the hierarchical name. Note how that works. It's nodes and then two backslashes and then it, it lists the child nodes. And in cases where um, there are several different child levels of child nodes, we have here one. We've got nodes, then two backslashes, journal process, and then a child node of journal process, which is asked questions. 
The, this report that I'm looking at, of course, can be printed out, which is what I often do when I'm working with other folks. But if you need to locate it again, it will be over here in the reports area. And you see, you'll find it right here, DWR Codebook, October 10th. Now here, you see all of the other pre-formatted reports, and you can play with those and decide if any of those are ones that you'd like to run. But for um, to do a codebook of this kind, where what we really have is the name of the category and the definition, we need to do that for ourselves. Um, when you first open this report, you may find that you're seeing only a thumbnail. And what you do about that is you go up to the View menu um, to Detail View, and um, you, where it says Report, and sometimes this um, the maps and the thumbnails are, are clicked when you first do this. And so you may see something that looks like this, where you're not even able to see the whole thing. So if that happens to you, go back to Detail View, click Report, and click off the little checkboxes for report map and click off the checkbox for thumbnails and you'll be able to see it just fine.